What's up, guys? Look at my head. <laughs> yeah, look at what's head. Anyway, today is the first vlog that I've done since the sport expo, and um, we had a great night out on Halloween. Uh, although we've been a bit sick the last few days, so with a sore throat, and I think it's something going around because the weather's changed. It's getting a bit cooler, so um, haven't been feeling that great the last couple of days. We're actually on our way to check out a new gym. All right, guys. So uh, I filmed the two gyms that we went to. The first, the first one that you're looking at is called Smart Fitness. As you can see, this gym is more like a home gym where there's equipment all over the place. Like this, you saw the squat rack was outside. You got some cardio and other weight lifting equipment outside. Uh, it's quite cramped, but they have a lot of uh, they have a lot of equipment like dumbbells, heavy dumbbells, um, a lot of benches and that. It's um, a little bit all over the place, the uh, equipment is quite close together on that, um, and it's fan. I think it's, yeah, it's aircon as well inside, obviously, uh, not outside. Um, but because some of the equipment is quite old, and uh, I'm not sure if I would be happy training here, although they had everything that I would need to use in terms of equipment, so, and the price was good. Alright, the second gym that we went to look at is called Tony's Gym, which is a 24-hour gym uh, open seven days a week, and it was split up onto different floors. So the first floor was full of cardio equipment, obviously when you need to do cardio. The second floor had uh, like weight training equipment. They were made by um, a company called Nautilus. I'm not sure if I've heard of them or if they're any good, but they look good. All the equipment um, looked newer than the Smart Fitness Gym. There was quite a lot of different pieces of equipment for different muscles, different exercises. Uh, they had a cable machine. The one where you can get a cable on each side to do like uh, crossovers and uh, pec flies and things like that, so that's good. They don't have that in the Virgin Active Gym that I'm a member of at the moment. Uh, on the floor above, there was more weight training equipment, so things like uh, bench presses, incline bench presses. Uh, leg presses, preacher curl machines, and the squat rack, which is great because it's one of these ones where you can adjust the pins to set the height of the safety beams. And uh, the dumbbells got to 100 pounds, which is a, a major thing because in Virgin Active, the current gym that I'm at, it only goes up to 36 kilos, so uh, having heavy dumbbells is a good thing. And on the roof, there's some saunas, which I probably wouldn't use, but it's nice to have and uh, you get a view of the outside. So, thinking about these two gyms, firstly, uh, there's a few factors that uh, I'm thinking about when choosing a gym or a new gym. Uh, the cost, the equipment, and the location. Virgin Active cost, it's very high. Both the Smart Fitness and the Tony's gyms, the ones that you saw us visit in this video, have a very good cost. Equipment. The Smart Fitness gym, the first one you saw, it had all the type of equipment that we would need, you know, heavy dumbbells, uh, flat bench, incline bench, squat rack, cables and other bits and pieces, but the equipment was old, <laughs> it looked quite old, it looked maintained, like they look after it well, but it's like very old equipment, I don't know what the quality is like, and it was quite cramped, so um, if it gets busy then I, I don't know, it would be like a a mosh pit, you know, trying to get your sets in. So the equipment in Tony's gym, I think it has everything. It has a power rack, or a power cage, whatever you call it, a squat rack for squats, flat bench, incline bench, cables, leg press, uh, preacher curl, it has everything. Alright, and the last factor, location. The Virgin Active Gym is in a shopping mall called the M Courtier, which is in a pretty good location. It's right near the public transport, so you, it's easy to get the train. But the Smart Fitness, it was a bit out of the way. Um, you'd have to walk from the train about 10 minutes. And Tony's gym, you'd have to walk again from the train, but it was closer and it was very central in Bangkok. I think looking at those three factors, Tony's gym is probably the gym that I'm going to be choosing to train at. Uh, anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep these vlogs coming. You know, um, I've had a bit, bit of a time off since the Sport Expo with my vlogs so uh, it's time to get it going again so if you like the video please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already 
But until next time, later.